Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial on TestLink. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we have seen how you can create a new project in TestLink and we have created a test project and now in this tutorial, we'll see how you can start with the requirement section of the TestLink and then we'll proceed further uh, how everything is linked together in the TestLink tool. So, after creating a project you can see that um, we are on the home page so uh, if you click on this little icon here uh, the project icon you will see the test project whatever project we are in at the moment since there is just one project created you will see only one project listed here right if you want to create um, another project um, then you can uh, go to test project management and from here you can create another project okay so if i just simply click on create um, you can say that a create new project window got open and it's exactly same as we have saw in the previous tutorial so you can see that create from existing test project you can select either yes or no uh, if you select um, from the existing project it will get some of the information from the existing project we'll simply um we won't go further with this one um you'll just close it and now coming back to this project you have different options uh, so there is test project management section then requirement specification section so the first thing in any of the development life cycle is basically it starts with the requirements um now whether it's an agile project or it's a old traditional uh, waterfall and v model project uh, the first phase of any of the software development life cycle is to gather the requirement um, so similarly in this tool we'll follow the same sequence of software development life cycle and see how you can start with the requirement and then how all the test cases plan and execution uh, is tied together um, after that so we'll go to the requirement specification section if you click on the requirement specification you will see the filter uh, or the navigator uh, opens and here you can create the requirement okay so now you can see in the left hand side rcv academy demo project folder is available and once you create the requirement below um requirement uh, specification it will come below that and then within that requirement specification folder you can create certain requirement now just click on create and here you can say um, the document id so i'll just say requirement one uh, you can provide um, some of the titles there so just i will uh, provide some title so I'll say test um, requirement and just copy and put it in the scope as well so in the scope you can define what is the scope of this uh, requirement so for example say consider you are testing the registration functionality of any of the application so what what we can do is we can just say registration functionality okay and below that registration here i'll just put registration functionality so it will cover all the test cases in the registration functionality uh, and then in the type you can select user requirement specification system requirement specifications we will say user requirement specification and save it all right as soon as you save it you will see that requirement one uh, registration functionality folder got created uh, and it's currently blank right so cancel that and after that if you click on this folder here right and a little cog wheel here now here you have option for requirement specification operations okay so you can create um, more requirement specification uh, you can edit delete import export and then you can freeze or you can create a new version 
and then below that requirement specification operation you can create requirement operations okay so if you click on create here okay so now you can say uh, what is the document ID for for that one so you can just say um, comment one and then in title you can just say um, login functionality or login with Google account or I'll just change it to register with Google account that's the title for uh, that particular requirement and in the scope you can define uh, what all scope or acceptance criteria for that particular requirement and below that below this page you can see that the status uh, if this requirement is still in the draft stage uh, and not finalized uh, you can just select draft uh, otherwise if it is you know like uh, for the review or um, depending on what state this this particular requirement is you can select the values from the drop down and the type you can select informational feature or use case or user interface or it is non-functional etc so depending on what different type of requirement you are capturing uh, i'll just say use case for now and this is just a um, just for uh, approximate number of the test cases needed so for example if you are uh, looking for uh, say approximately this this particular uh, requirement might need say five test cases to be there you can add more or less but it's just a uh, indication for the tester that approximately these many number of test cases might be required for this functionality once you are done with all these details click on save And now below that requirement one, which is registration functionality, you can you can see register with Google account requirement got created. Okay. Similarly, if you go back to the folder and click on this cog wheel here, uh, you can create another requirement operation. So just I'll just change it to two, and then register with um, Facebook account. I'll quickly go ahead and create a few more requirements below that and once it's created I'll save it um, the other important thing I would like to cover is if you just simply create on that and if you check this box check to create another requirement after saving then this window won't close after you save it I'll show you that um, so register with um email we'll say okay and if i go ahead and save it uh, you'll see third requirement register with email got created and you can see this window is this still open and you can simply go ahead and create another requirement okay so I'll say register register with username okay. and simply save it all right so now you can see that um, the requirement functionality has been created with these four requirement below that okay and now you can elaborate as much as you can in the scope um, the coverage extra uh, for these requirement once you click on these requirement you can see the relations get appeared so you current requirement is related to uh, whatever requirement ID so for example register with email is related to some of other requirement you can provide the relationship or if this particular requirement is a child of or is a parent of uh, some other requirement in your project you can provide that dependency in the relationships all right if there are any files to be attached you can simply click on choose file uh, and attach those file all right so that's um, pretty much about creating the requirements so if we go back to the project or the home page now in the requirement specification 
um, you can see all these requirements are listed here all right so once the requirements are created the next step is basically to have the test cases and then map the test cases with the requirements that you are working against so that's um, another uh, tutorial that we'll cover in the next section thank you very much for watching and please do share and subscribe